Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Advanced Band. So this is a really awesome plugin with so many different cool features that allows you to ban, kick, mute, warn, and lots of other stuff to players who are probably not acting like they should. So before I start, I want to say that I'm doing a Q&A for hitting 20,000 subscribers, which uh, I hit quite a few weeks ago. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and hopefully I can answer them in the upcoming video for that. So um, what we're going to do, we are going to go in game mode 1 so we don't starve to death. And we are going to do advanced ban help. So this will show us all of the commands. So uh, let's just go through a few of these. There is the check command right at the bottom. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. This allows you to check information for a player. So it tells you their UUID, their IP, what country they're from, whether they're muted, banned, or warned. So um, as you can see, my other account has no warns. However, uh, we can actually warn a player. Um, and if they get three warns, they get kicked. So if we do forward slash warn and then my other account's name, we can give a reason, so test, they will be sent a message saying they have been warned for reason test, and we can uh, do it two more times and they will be kicked by the uh, by the console uh, for getting three warnings, so um, that is a very cool feature, and if we do force slash check now, uh, we will see, uh, where is it, check LT Jim, you will see he has three warnings there. So um, what I'm going to do is rejoin the server and we are going to remove those um, punishments. So we can do unpunish followed by the ID, so which is 1, 2 and 3 and now he will have um, zero warnings like that. So that is how you warn someone, it's very very cool. You can see a user's history by doing forward slash warns. Uh, and then their name. Obviously it's going to be blank now because we have deleted them, but obviously you probably wouldn't want to delete them under normal circumstances. Uh, you can do forward slash unworn, um, clear and then someone's name. But the most important part is the temp banning, temp muting uh, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go through that really quickly. So if we do temp mute and then my other account, who is going to be our test dummy, um, we are going to mute him for a certain amount of time and for a reason. So as you can see it goes X, M, O, X, D, X, H, X, M, X, S. And obviously X is whatever number you want and S, M, H is um, minutes, hours, seconds. So let's go ahead and choose 10 seconds for reason test. As you can see in chat um, it says who has been muted by who, the reason and how long. So if they try to type in chat it would pop up saying they are still muted for 8 seconds or 5 seconds or however long left they have. So that is very cool that you can do that. Um, if we go up even more we can do a temp ban. So that, that seems fun. So if we do temp ban my other account and the format is the same. So it's very easy to do. You can do 10 seconds for reason uh, hello like that. So I'm going to uh, hop over to my other account now to show you the ban screen. So here we are on the ban screen and as you can see it says the reason, the duration and if it's permanent you can use the TeamSpeak IP or the forum to get unbanned. So am I unbanned yet? Yes I am. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get muted. So uh, bear with me while I uh, mute my other account for 10 seconds for test. And as you can see if we type in chat the message just pops up again and again and uh, we cannot uh, type anything and nobody can see our messages. So here we are in the advanced band folder and as you can see there are three different YML files. The bottom one is the messages, this is very straightforward, it has all of the different punishments and the different messages. Uh, it looks very nice, the format's great, it's got uh, good colours and it looks very nice so there's no real reason to change it. If we go into data, this has all of the punishments, it shows you all of the information that you need to know, so who has been banned, who banned them, the reason, the UUID of the player, punishment type, and the start and the end of the punishment. So uh, that's cool. In the config, there isn't too much in here. You can um, change the default reason. So I change that to, I don't know, something else. You can change the date format. So if you guys are in America, you obviously put the month first and the day in the middle for some reason and exempt players, so you probably want to put your admins and owners in here. 
Now down at the bottom we have a couple of pretty cool things, so the worn actions. If you remember I kicked my other account three times and they got uh, kicked for doing that. If I would have worn them a fourth time um, they would have got a temp ban. So the more warnings you get the more severe the punishment gets. And finally at number 12 you get perma ban. So obviously you could change these numbers to whatever you want um, to suit your server. And now if we look at the bottom uh, I want to make sure you guys see this temp perms. So this is very useful, so uh, you can give this to moderators and lower admins and give them uh, the ability to temp ban people for a maximum of 600 seconds, which is obviously 10 minutes. Uh, so this stops uh, moderators from getting maybe a bit annoyed at someone and banning them for 9 million seconds or something, something ridiculous like that. So that's a very useful feature. And finally we have the layout. So I didn't show you this in game, but um, you can have... Uh, different layouts and the amount of time uh, that a player uh, has to serve. So it increases each time, so it starts with 30 minutes and then 2 hours and uh, finally gets to a perma ban at the end. So uh, we are going to test this by grabbing this uh, part, just copy and paste it, um, and we are going to ban our other account. So I've been messing around with this as you can see, uh, he got a seven day ban previously. Uh, so if we do LTGym008, he will be banned for 30 days. So that is uh, the next in increment. Uh, let's go back to layouts. So as you can see, he was banned for a week and now he's been banned for one month or 30 days. So if he were to be banned again, it would be two months and then four, which is a very long time, and then permanently. And obviously you can change the example layout here, put your TeamSpeak IP in, your forum, website, uh, address. But yeah, that is the plugin. It's really awesome, free to download, and it's a great uh, plugin for banning, muting, and warning people.